Well, 50 years ago, Sean Connery starred as Agent 007 in Diamonds Are Forever, his sixth and final outing as James Bond in the official film series. The spy adventure was mainly shot in Amsterdam and Las Vegas, but it has a very special connection to Kent, as James Davis can tell us. <laughs> James Bond's gadget-laden Aston Martin DB5 almost became as much of a star as 007 when it first appeared in Goldfinger, while the underwater Lotus Esprit from The Spy Who Loved Me added another layer of escapist drama to the spy series. But there's one iconic but perhaps more clunky vehicle that starred in the long-running film franchise that has a little-known but significant link to Kent. I found it in this field in Kent under an oak tree covered in leaves and uh, acorns and looking very, very uh, sad and, and dejected. And initially I thought, there's no way that this is ever going to see the light of day again, as it used to be. But the more I looked at it, the more I thought, yeah, I think there's a possibility. Already I was putting it back together in my mind. Graham paid £500 for the rusty buggy and soon set to work restoring the vehicle to its former glory. It's a massive vehicle. It's about 10, foot, 10 and a half feet wide. So I thought, right. Let's set to and find some people that can do this and luckily I found the best team that you could ever hope to find and they did a fantastic job. And uh, it came out, of the, came out of the paint shop on the day looking absolutely identical to what it did in 1971. It was quite thrilling to be able to actually get into the refurbished uh, version of the buggy and it's now basically uh, restored for, for all time so Bond fans the world over, forever and a day, can get to see and touch, hopefully, that moon buggy. In 2004, Graham sold the moon buggy for £23,000 and it was shipped to Las Vegas. But one piece from the iconic vehicle remains in the southeast. So, Graham, what are we holding here? Well, this is the one remaining original arm from the Diamonds Are Forever moon buggy. This arm bounced all over the Nevada desert and went through a breakaway set at Pyramid Studios before it found its way, mysteriously, into a farmer's field in Kent. The moon buggy may not have the speed or the sleek lines of some of 007's most iconic cars, but Graham says the Rover has its own unique charm. The moon buggy is such a, um, such a unique vehicle. Um, there's nothing else like it. There's nothing else like it in any other film ever made. There was only ever one of them made. It's totally unique. And it's, it's another vehicle that James Bond actually drove and as far as I'm concerned, the James Bond, to get away from the bad guys. Yeah. Plus the fact that it was used as the centrepiece in all of the advertising uh, posters all over the world. So it's, uh, it's a major, important artefact. It's 50 years since the moon buggy first burst onto the big screen, and while it was almost lost for good, Graham hopes like diamonds, the moon buggy is forever. James Davis, ITV News, Lid. <laughs>